and welcome to Down to Earth. Our question this week is a on a photo sent in by a viewer, and it's really interesting to see. It's not something you may see very often, but it is a really cool natural occurrence. This tomato hornworm has little white things all over it, and the viewer is wondering what those are. This is actually uh, from a parasitic wasp. The adult of this wasp lays eggs on the back of the caterpillar. These, ag these eggs hatch and then have nice little caterpillar for dinner. Then they pupate and these white things all over the caterpillar are actually the cocoons. You can actually see some holes in the end of those white tubes and that is where the young wasp has emerged as an adult and is now flying around and looking for another caterpillar of its own to lay its own eggs. These adult wasps are very small and they may seem like gnats if you actually see them in your, around your plants and your landscapes, but you probably won't even notice them because they are so small. This points out that this is a great reason not to overuse insecticides. If you've used insecticides in your garden and you've killed back all of the caterpillars, these beneficial wasps, which are a natural way to treat this pest, get, also get treated and aren't as active. Our plant this week is butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa. It's a wonderful houseplant for larvae of the monarch butterfly, which plays right into what we've just talked about on insecticides for caterpillars. It has brilliant orange to bright red flowers and really deep, nice green foliage. Those flowers create a nice landing pad for butterflies, and adult monarchs sip the nectar from the flowers and then lay the eggs on this plant. So this is a plant that you'll have to sacrifice some to have monarchs in our landscape. You'll have to let those monarch larvae eat a little bit of those plants. It's an herbaceous perennial. It gets about two feet tall and up to about a foot and a half wide. It does look a little taller than bushy and wide. It does prefer full sun, tolerate a little bit of shade, and it will also tolerate clay soil, which makes it a good choice for us, although it does prefer better drainage. To do in your garden this month, you have a second chance to plant warm season vegetable favorites, such as tomato or eggplant. These plants don't normally produce as usually, don't usually produce as well in the heat as they might have for you in the spring, so you probably will not get as much fruit for them from them in the fall as you did in the spring. Those flowers that are formed are, the pollen in them is damaged by the heat, and so there's not as much fertilization on those fruit, and so you don't get as much fruit. We'd love to hear from you. Please visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or a plant of the week from your garden.